Thank you so much for attending this presentation. My name is Bo Jian, and I'm here to present our work Diethold, which is on automatic cogeneration for dynamic tensor programs. Before diving into the details of Diethold, let us first do a quick review of the current auto scattering design, which starts with a user supplying an operator specification and a standard shape description. Based on the provided information, the auto scheduler automatically constructs a search space that includes all the schedules under consideration. However, the key challenge is that an operator can in theory have infinitely many possible schedules. As an example, consider the compute as is shown on the slide. Imagine that we are about to apply the loop telling transformation to the loop structure. As you can notice as well, even with such a simple transformation, there can be infinitely many possible telling candidates as is shown on the slide. To limit the search space, one of the solutions that is commonly adopted is to circumscribe the telling candidates to, to those that are perfect factors. Because the perfect factors are dependent on the loop extent, we hence name this approach shape-dependent search space construction. The additional benefit of this approach is that it can also avoid the necessity of introducing other boundary checks in the loop body. To efficiently search through the search space, the auto scheduler introduces a complete program cost model that can accurately predict the performance of each schedule. During the learning process, the auto scheduler uses the cost model that is constantly updated using hard, real hardware measurements to guide the search in the shape dependent search space and finally deliver a high performance program. However, we do notice that there are several challenges faced with the current auto scheduler design, with the first one being that it's hard to share the schedules across different shapes of the same operator. Consider the loop telling examples that we have previously. Imagine that the outer loop extent has been changed from 50 to say 49. With this a simple change, the telling candidates have been reduced to a single element set seven, which does not have in any intersection with all the factors of 50. The fact is that it is hard to share schedules under the shape-dependent search space construction further implies that it is extremely challenging to auto-schedule dynamic shape workloads. Assuming that we have a workload whose shapes are dynamic at compile time, in order for auto-schedule for such a workload, we need to search for each shape instance of the workload, as is shown on the right-hand side of the slide, which is clearly inefficient. The second challenge the current auto scheduler is facing is that it can deliver suboptimal performance for not considering non perfect candidates. Still, the same telling example clearly, the current set with a single candidate is too limited, as telling candidates two, three, et cetera, are also viable, and they might deliver better performance compared with seven. Although it is correct that extra bound uh, uh, extra other boundary checks have now to be injected inside the loop body for the program to be correct. We observe that the performance overhead of those other boundary checks can be negligible with the local padding code generation optimization technique, a technique that pads tensor locally by the size of the local workspace. To address those challenges, we propose diet code a new auto scheduler framework that efficiently supports dynamic chip workloads. Due to the time limitation, in this presentation, we mainly focus on two key ideas or submodules of diet code, namely the shape generic search space and the microkernel based cost model. Our first key idea, shape generic search space, constructs a search space that is composed of microkernels. Each microkernel does a tile of the entire compute and can be ported to all shapes of the same operator. As an example, on the right hand side of the slide, we are illustrating how the microkernel dense 128 by 128 can be used to realize the compute 1024 times 2304 
by replicating itself eight times, 18 times along the spatial dimensions. The microkernels are sampled mostly from the hardware constraints instead of the shape factors. Hence, they form a shape generic search space. Our second key idea, microkernel based cost model, is from the observation that the existing cost model, if trained on one shape, can be inaccurate on other shapes. As we can see from the right hand side of the slide, as we vary the shape of the workload, the existing cost model is unable to capture the change in compute throughput. We further notice, however, that the compute throughputs exhibit pre predictable linear trend with respect to the shape dimensions. This therefore motivates us to build a new cost model that can be decomposed into two components. A trainable microkernel cost that is modeled using XGBoost and an analytical spatial generalization cost that is modeled using a linear function. With those two key ideas, we further devise a new interface for of diet code to better support dynamic shape workloads. The new interface allows users to define dynamic shape variables and their instances, pass those variables and instances to the workload function, and optionally assign weight to each shape instance. To test the effectiveness of diet code, we evaluate our hardware platform equipped with a more than Tesla T4 GPU, CUDA 11.3 and Houdin 8.3. We use diet code to auto schedule the dense layers extracted from the BERT model, which is a state-of-the-art language model application. The sequence length that we use is uniformly sampled within the range from one to 128. We observe that with so sampled sequence lenses, diet code delivers on average 30% better than answer, the current auto scatterer design in PDM in terms of performance, and 5% better than the Cook Glass Wonder Library. Furthermore, since diet code only needs to auto schedule once and for all shape instances, its auto scattering time is 5.6 times less than answer. To make it even more exciting, diet code also supports workloads with multiple dynamic axes. We also schedule the batch matrix multiply layers extracted from the BERT model with a spatial dynamic spatial axis and a dynamic axis being a dynamic reduction axis. As we can see from the result, across all the sequence lenses evaluated, diet code delivers an average 24% performance better than answer and 15% performance better than the wonder library. These results indicate that diet code is a practical auto scheduler for dynamic ship workloads. In this presentation, we present diet code and auto scheduler for dynamic ship workloads. Diet code is based on two key ideas constructing a shape generic search, search space that is composed of microkernels and using the microkernel based cost model that consists of a trainable microkernel cost and an analytical spatial generalization cost. Our evaluation of diet code shows that it only needs to auto schedule once and for all shape instances, leading to a large reduction in the auto scattering time. Furthermore, it can deliver performance by up to 30% better than answer and 15% better than the wonder library or more than GPU. We are currently working on integrating diet code as part of the TBM main branch. Thanks again for attending this presentation.